Hello there! Before the video starts, I have a little announcement to make, and that just being that I won't be able to upload as much this week or stream as much this week. Maybe there will be very little streams, so if you guys enjoyed the streams in the last month or so, I'm very sorry, but I have to do my driver's license. Also, I have some other projects on the side that I have to take care of. And yeah, that's just the all the information I have for you. Also, if you do like the meme cards intros, and I know a lot of you do like those intros, I made a short little skit that was uploaded on the channel yesterday. And if you are a big fan of those intros, these are basically, that video is basically like one of those intros, but a little higher quality. I asked one of my best friends to film it for me, and I think the it turned out really funny. It's a very nice, little, unique, little skit. And it's very much like, you know, one of those meme cards videos with the intros and stuff. So if you enjoyed those, please check it out. Link will be in the description. And it's also, you know, on the channel with a nice little thumbnail of a baby crying. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. Oh, a symbiosis man versus an even symbiosis sir man. Go to a plot, go meet at a bar or something. I don't know. Uh, It's mid. You got you guys. This is mid. But how do I win round one though? I think I just start off with a poison here. I need to get rid of this nonsense. And if I can't get rid of this nonsense, I guess we'll just have to lose then. Yeah, we'll, we'll play the Henry deck, trust me. Uh, don't, don't worry about it. It's just... This deck seems a lot more... Intriguing. Your deck is just... Please, God! Don't draw Sayana and Leo and Henry in the, in the opening hands. Oh, okay. Is he tutored for a Purify here? I'm not bad. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not opposed to that, but... Okay. Well, that is a bit of an issue. Let's bluff another poison. This girl looks like an old school mate of mine, which is very funny. Cause she's a she's like a Chinese model now. And she looks like a child. Like she's lit she legit looks like a freaking child, bro. You you follow her on Instagram, you think you're you're following like a s like a seven year old. It's very It's very weird knowing that she's like the same age as you, but looks like a freaking elementary school kid. It is very weird. <clears throat> What's her name? I'm not gonna give you her name, dude. You freaking lolly ass pedos, man. <laughs> you watch too much anime, guys. I'm not gonna say I don't watch anime, but. Oh my god, is that a defender? It might actually be a defender. Does that give me Simlas? That does give me Simlas! Ho 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 ho! Hello! Very good, very good, very good, very good. Boom! Big Chongas on top. Okay. 
Alright. We'll deal seven damage throughout this game. Okay. All right, he has committed, lads. I repeat, our opponent has committed. Which means it's time for prison pend. I will play Prism Pendant on the front row, next to two figures. I'll commentate it. I, uh, by the way, I'll commentate this like a, like a, a card game, dude. Like a Yu-Gi-Oh player. When I when it's when it's my turn, it's gonna be hard to do it during the, the opponents. I'll I'll make some reactions to to the opponents play. I I kind of feel like I kind of want to go into the card game mode right now. I'm 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 kind of vibing with the card games. You know the the good old Yu-Gi-Oh. A rebuke to deal two damage to my figures, Reluso. That's a pathetic play, I would say. Because you're not ready for my next move. Gabor, Seagreen, I summon you in the melee row to gain resilience on your deploy. Whenever I play a dwarf, boost self by one. And it is your turn, opponent. Also, I deal one damage to your wandering treant. At my end step. At the end of my turn. Yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> Francesca! Can you believe it? What does she do? I need to read this card. Veil! Holy moly, that's already insane. Whenever you play a special card, remove one counter. Counter two. When the counter reaches zero, spawn and play a base copy of the last special card you played. If it is neutral, also give it doomed. My god, what a card. How do I out this thing? I don't know. I need to find a way out of this. But I have a trick. I do have a trick here. Because you might remember last turn. Last round. I played Shaping Nature. Shaping Nature has an echo effect. Which allows me to play it again this turn. Shaping Nature. Boost by 6. Gain 12. 15 vitality. Oh. Now, at the end of the turn, my Galbra Zegrin gets one plus power because of my vitality. Oh my goodness. A Simla. Oh Jesus. What is this? He's playing Simlas. What does that card do? Play all, all copies of a bronze special card from your deck. What has he played here? He's played Spring Equinox. Boost an ally unit by blah blah blah. Increase the boost by one for each nature card other than Spring Equinox in your starting deck. Holy moly, he is up by around 51 points here. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, uh, we're in trouble. Uh, we are in a little bit of trouble here. Uh, okay. Uh, oh my god, at the end of his turn, he gains four extra points because of the vitality on his cards. All right. You play your Simlas, I will do the same. I will trigger. I will activate Isengrim's Council. To play either an elf or a dryad. As you may know, Simlas is an elf mage, which allows me to play all copies of a bronze special card from your deck. Go, Simlas, boosted by two off the effect from my council, and then I give my Gabor a bunch of vitality. 30 vitality. Oh my god. That's pretty good. <laughs> My opponent plays Frog Mating Season. What does this card do? Choose two allied units, then div div them Vitality 4 and spawn a frog for each side of the chosen row. That is amazing. What do the frogs do? Doomed, at the end of your turn, trigger Vitality for adjacent units. Order, move self to the other row. But your board is almost full. I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 cards. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 cards on the front row. Which means this man has only one more room for one more card. What is it going to be? We need to find out quickly. Otherwise, we might be in some trouble here. But for now, 
I will remain calm, and I will play an Avalax Sage, which tutors an artifact from my deck if I play him on the range draw. The artifact that I'm going to play is Petri's Filter, which allows me to boost the unit by 3, which doesn't sound that amazing, but it also has the order ability to give an allied unit zeal. Seems pretty good to me. This might keep me in this game, guys. He's playing the Gord. What does Gord do? Boost self by 10. Increase the boost by 1 for each special card you play this game. The boost cannot exceed 12. What a fantastic card, eh? What a fantastic card. Uh... I mean, I do this, right? Yeah. Oh, I already played a card here. Whoops. <laughs> Alright. I will play Mahakam Ale, which boosts the unit by 5. And removes all the locks from it. Alright. Well, we have to... <laughs> we have to... I will use my leader ability, which allows me to play Mahakam Tempering, which boosts an allied unit by 5. And if it's a dwarf, it also gains 2 armor. It just happens to be Gabor Z Green. So armor! Give it 2 armor and the additional vitality. Wow! What a card! Now, I will play my Nayad Fledgling. And I will give it zeal, because it enables its order ability. Whenever a symbiosis is triggered, give the unit to the left vitality too. This does not matter. Order, remove all vitality from an allied unit that boosts up by the same amount. I will remove Gabor's vitality and gain 55 points. Sorry, uh, fi uh 51 points on my Nyad Fledgling. Then, as my last play, I will... Get Give this dude some vitality and play this and lose the game. Fuck! I thought I could get away with it. <laughs> well, that was an adventure. I hope you guys die. I hope. <laughs> let's let's do the Yu-Gi-Oh energy. Let's do the Yu-Gi-Oh energy. Roasting our opponent doesn't make sense when we're playing a bad deck, right? We have to roast our opponents when we're playing good decks. We don't play good decks, so. All right. We're playing Imperial Formation. What does this leader do, Yugi? Tactical decision. Spawn and play Morvran Vorhis. This ability adds 15 provision to your deck's provision limit. That means he has 125 provisions, I think. Uh, Alright, what, what does... Uh, 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 what, uh, uh, what does he do? What, the game, let me show. I don't know, I don't know what he does. I don't know what he does. I'm lost. Without this knowledge, I'm lost. Uh, okay, um... All right, what does this leader do? Doomed, deploy, draw up the three cards, then move the same number of cards back to the top of the deck. Wow, what a powerful ability. I bet his deck has a lot of ways to synergize with it. All right, uh, we have Defender. All right, no, we can't actually reveal what we have. Literally, Yu-Gi-Oh, literally what, they, they never reveal what they have. They just fucking bullshit out everything. They just, they just bullshit out all the cards that they have. And it's like, oh, I have the out to that one card that's actually, <laughs> you can't out, you, you can't out this card, but. Oh my god, what does this card do? Taurus Var Amres, Founder. Deploy, give spying to three units provision cost 10 or less from your, uh, from your opponent's deck. Then spawn base copies of them into your deck. Boot stuff by one for each provision below the limit. Order, banish up the three cards from your starting deck from your deck while in your hand to deck evolve after you win a round. A 19 point card! That means, what did he give spying to? He gave spying to my Dried Ranger, my Marlene de Trastevere, and my Forest Whisper. Wow, what a card. What a card, eh? Well, but. He's a big boy. That 19 point. How do I out this card? Well, in my deck, I play a certain card called King Cobra. Give him poison. What does poison do? If this unit gains two poison statuses, it is destroyed. You are now one poison status away from being destroyed, Taurus Var Amres. What does his stratagem do? He might use this for something. Draw a card of your choice, then move a card from your hand to the bottom of the deck. He will use the order ability, which means he banishes up to three cards from your starting deck and from your deck, while in hand deck evolves. Wait, what? Ah, oh, just, just banishes up to three cards, I guess. Uh, Alright. He did not do anything against my poison. Therefore, I will use my second King Cobra against your Taurus Var Emrays to destroy Taurus Var Emrays once and for all. He is doomed. Therefore, he will not move to the graveyard. He will be banished and removed from the game. Uh-oh. Snowdrop, 
Z order. Draw up to two cards, then shuffle the same number of cards back into your deck. Whenever you draw a card, boost self by two. No way! That does that mean he will use his leader ability this turn already to draw three cards and put three cards back on top of his deck? Maybe. Who knows? He will do it! He will play more Vrivoris. What does this card do? Deploy, draw up to three cards and move the same number of cards back to the top of your deck. Oh no, this means whenever you draw a card, boost off by two. This means he will gain six extra points this turn. What a card. What a play. What a play. Wait, how do I play around this now? Okay, um... My situation looks hopeless. What do I do? He's so far ahead of me in points. I could already set up my combo and make him force and force him to pass and then play the next round out. There is two options I have here. I could use Mac and pass. How do I out these points? I can't make 23 points and two cards here, can I? No, I can't. Therefore, I will play Mac and pass. Mac and pass allows me to create a bronze dwarf from whatever, and he has a resilience and order spawn at play tempering, and tempering boosts an ally by five, and if it's a dwarf, it also gives two armor. Okay, opponent is deciding. Oh no. Traher, Var Vydrif. What does he do? Look at the top of the cards in your opponent's deck, then move on to the graveyard. No, you moved my Petri's filter. This would have allowed me to boost an allied unit by three and also give an allied unit zeal. I will pass here. I will pass here. I don't see myself winning this round anymore. Oh, wait. Am I getting milled here? Oh, that's fine with me, actually. Oh, that's very fine with me. Oh, I have everything I need, my friend. I have everything I need. Oh, <laughs> he milled my cards. Catarella played the top card from my opponent's deck, and then it discarded my ring, and I drew Simlas, a very powerful card in my deck. Oh, this is gonna be funny, actually. Oh, this one's actually gonna be very funny. Oh, this one's actually gonna be very funny, guys. No! Oh, fuck, I shouldn't have mulliganed. I don't know why I mulliganed there. That was so stupid. I don't know why I mulliganed there. That was, that was actually the most pointless mulligan. I actually had the perfect hand. And I bricked it. Time to get our hands dirty. Okay. Okay. Well, looks like these orbs would have been milled anyway, so it's like whatever. Oh, wait. I play Figgy's Whirlow. This card has Defender and Order, which means that only this card can be targeted on this row. He played Artorius Vigio, which creates a one co power copy of a bronze unit from your starting deck. It played Kingslayer, which reveals the top card from the opponent's deck and it banishes it. Wow, what a powerful effect. I will play Gabor Zegrin on the melee roll, which means on its deploy it will gain resilience. And whenever I play a dwarf, it'll boost himself by one. Okay. No! Vilgefortz! Deploy melee, destroy an enemy unit, from, then your opponent summons the top bronze unit from the deck at the random enemy mule. He also has a ranged ability, but he didn't use it, so it's re irrelevant to this moment. Pendant. I will play Pendant. This card allows me to, whenever you, I target an ally with a special, it gives it vitality equal to the pr special's provision cost. And whenever I target an enemy unit with special, I give it bleeding. Oh, well, that was fun. He used Yennefer's Invocation, which moves an enemy unit to the top of your deck. Which means my Gabor is no more. How do I deal with this situation? I don't know. I will have to find out myself. I will have to play out my cards and hope the heart of the cards helps me. He has a def Oh. Wait, what? How does he have so many cards? Oh, I see what he's doing. Okay, fair enough. Well, this looks like a pretty lot, pretty pretty hard loss here. I mean, 
kind of not though, right? All right, you played a defender. I also played a defender, but his defender is in the Nilfgaard faction. It on deploy spawns battle preparation, which boosts an ally unit by four and gives it two armor. And if it's a soldier, it boosts it by six and gives it two armor instead. Therefore, making it a seven, four armor. Very strong card indeed, but I have my out in my poison card. Okay. Colgrim? What does this card do? Adrenaline 1. At the end of your turn, boosts up by the difference between the number of cards in the player's deck. I have 5. He has 18. That does not look good. I will poison your defender. And he has... Oh my god. Letho Kingslayer. Deploy. Transform into base copy of unit with changing power. He targets the Colgrim. Okay. Well, I will play Nyad Fledgling, which whenever I, I trigger Symbiosis, I give the unit to the left. Vitality 2. An order. Remove all vitality from an allied unit. Boom. Uh-oh. Boom. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, Yugi Moto! Yugi Moto! Yugi Moto! Yugi Moto! Yugi Moto! Oh! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> damn. Oh, that was fun though. That was very fun though. I probably should have, like, I should have just pushed round one. I had such a good hand. Ah, uh, the invocation. The invocation is dirty. And also, eh, I guess... Eh, whatever. A pile was beaten by a pile. It's a tale as old as time. Holy moly, this hand is actually con like completely bananas, right? Is it just... Yeah, this hand is completely... Oh my god, this hand... Okay, Jesus. This hand is actually amazing. The only thing that's missing is Simlas, and that and that is actually it, though. Like, everything else is here. Like, actually, everything else is here. Alright, Mushy Truff, okay. This is an Ortkel deck. Alright. Hmm. All right, 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 all right. Ah, uh, I'm okay. Now I'm scared. Now <laughs> I'm spooked. Let me tell you, now I'm a spooky lad. I'm spook. I'm a spooked lad. Ow. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. This could potentially kill the boat. Uh, uh, all right, um, that's a lot of points. Well, I think we just have to go all in here, though. We've already we've already committed to it, right? Uh, we've already committed to it. But this deck has a good win rate, actually. Surpri surprisingly, this deck. <laughs> That's, doesn't have a bad win rate because a lot of the opponents have kind of left uh, earlier. They have kind of forfeited. They've FF'd. The it's too much, so much interaction, so much coding that just happened that the game just crashed on his side. That's what I like to believe. Ow. Uh, well, now I can't kill it anymore. That's not great. I mean, at some point he has to pass, right? <laughs> this is the slowest freaking setup to anything I've ever seen, but hot damn if it doesn't seem correct. Alright. 
time to play Gabor. Eleven. How greedy can I get here? I think I have to trigger it now. If he doesn't pass, that is. If he passes, we're gonna draw sim last, right? Yeah. If he passes, we draw sim last. Okay. So. Yeah, because he passes next turn, right? So we have to do this now. Pretty obvious. Love it when an OG comes back to the game. Hat tip to you, Hobble. You've inspired a bunch of people like me to play this game. I appreciate it, man. I like to read those comments. I have a... F and then there's a comment saying, you suck. I'm like, yeah! That guy's also right. <laughs> yeah! Hats off to that guy. Are right, we playing dwarfs? No, we're playing dwarf. Singular. Big dwarf. With big vitality. Which we will take away with fledgling. And, I mean, yeah. This is the... Sort of the prism deck. The prism pendant deck. Alright, he gets a lot of points here. Twenty three vitality. Looks good. We're slowly kind of getting there. But this was suggested by a viewer. I gotta give shout out to uh, Moyad Bassam. Shout out to Moyad Bassam for the deck idea. He did. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Dish, 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 dish. All right. We only go one card down here. Holy moly! That's insane. That's actually kind of crazy. How much vitality? Oh, 32. That's so sick. Oh, there she is. There she is. Draw sim last when the... Oh. oh, we did it, boys. We got the biggest dwarf in the world. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Yes! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Okay, so the way we do this, we play this, 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 then this. Right? Yeah. Dude. He keep, Of course, he, that, he, he, they keep all the statuses. That's kind of like the point of this whole thing. Oh, yeah, 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 he's getting desperate, he's getting desperate, he's getting desperate, he's getting desperate. Boom! What are you gonna do against this now? Oh, if he can somehow kill this, I'm gonna be so sad, dude. Do I give one vitality to her? Yeah, I can give, I can, it, 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 it's the same, right? It's, it's like literally the same if I give it to her than if I give it to him, right? It's just I accelerate, right? It's just I accelerate. It, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. This is actually perfectly fine. Uh oh, 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 uh oh. Deal random damage, boom, and she dies. Uh three uh three power, deal three random damage. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, okay, so we're definitely sim lasting here. We're we're definitely sim lasting here. Cause it's gonna hit this and yeah, I'm not gonna have that I'm not gonna let that happen, bro. Alright, boom. 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 All right, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We are not done yet. We are not done yet. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Well, now. Uh, wait. What? Whoa, whoa! What are you doing? Okay. Uh. Well, I guess we're not losing. Jesus Christ! All right. Boom. Alright, uh, then we'll, I guess we'll just pass then. 
Jesu, Jesu, wait, he actually had the out, dude. He actually had the out. What the hell? Oh. Well. Bro, how does this this card freaking hard counters us, dude? It's actually insane. This card actually hard counters us. That's ridiculous. God damn it. <laughs> no. Bro, how does this one card literally just beat our entire strategy? Ah. Ah, well, at least we got like a that, that was a pretty cool moment to be fair. You gotta admit that was pretty sick Dude, I don't know So sad dude so freaking sad man I'm getting it Getting us lose the game. Oh, that's not getting it. That is not getting us. What's up with this card? Does he have like a Lippy? Lippy doesn't synergize the other way around. Okay, sure. Bro, how does one card literally just out my entire deck here? That's kind of crazy. I find that to be kind of rude. Crow. I think I lose, yeah. I mean, this fucking card. He got me. I mean, he, he did get me. Oh, wait, what? I just. No! Oh! You're being very rude, sir. Look at them birds, dude. I appreciate the birds, though. Ah, oh, man. So close, dude. So freaking close, dude. One goddamn card, man. <sighs> That's sad. That one's sad. <laughs> oh, that's actually that's actually kind of cute. That little combo. All right. Well, it's all right. GG. Hi. Right. Yeah, whatever. Ugh. No, oh, he gets to have his fun at least. Okay, that's kind of cute actually. That is actually kind of cute. Uh, that 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 combo is pretty cute. Actually, kind of appreciate that with the with the boat and the birds. It's actually very cute. Around and smash 
I mean, come on. Congrats, you win the game, right? GG. That last turn, you didn't have to take that long to think there. <clears throat> aye, aye, aye. All the stupid broken cards in every deck. And then just saying, yeah, I'm a great deck builder. I literally just looked at statistics and <laughs> built the best deck around the cards with the highest win rate. Well, congratulations. You really are, you really are an outstanding member of society. <clears throat> no defender, huh? I need more bait. What do you mean more bait? I have literal renew for my defender. What do, what do you mean more bait? I'm like... <laughs> my entire strategy is built around freaking just trying not to let this dude die. But he's gonna die a lot of times. Because the, because the card game has a lot of ways to deal with things in the card game. It kind of makes sense since it is a card game where there's a lot of things that need to be dealt with. If you get my gist need more bait like what like do i need to play freaking sasuke or something here yeah sure i guess yeah let's, let's build the deck around sasuke all of a sudden let's just build the deck around say let's put in a cyana just because the opponent might use removal on it yeah let's waste 12 provisions for bait bait man all right that can go Alright, if, if I'm not allowed to have fun, you're not allowed to have fun either, opponent. Oh, he's gonna transform this? Yeah, he might just transform this. I just realized what he does. He's gonna play the... Yeah, okay, that's fine. That is fine, though. Play this before anything interesting happens here. Loki, do we need poison? Uh, high key, no, but it's kind of like something that we can do in this deck. Like, what else am I gonna put in there? I need, I need, I, I guess I can cut the caress. I guess th this card is kind of the reason why we're playing the poison package here. But like, poison package is just good, right? <laughs> but like, look at that. Oh, wait, no, I needed a poison for that thing. I have no way to poison this. All right. We have said our things and done our words, and now we are doing more things and saying more words. Okay. All right. Lots of points from the opponent. This guy's never passing, is he? This guy ain't ever passing. Is he? The problem with this deck is you need to win round one, and everything is so slow, though. I guess, what, 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 like, could, what can I play instead of the, the, the Dryads here? Like, statistically, they are the highest uh, potential bronze points. And I, I say statistically, I... I, I <laughs> Based on no statistic, but my own intuition. <laughs> I do my own research, guys. Trust me. I'm a genius deck builder. Trust me. This wasn't even my idea. But I'm still a genius deck builder, right? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a deck builder that likes to suffer. Let's just say like that. Okay, well... Are you going to pass here? Because I would very much like for you to pass here. Actually, no. I'd like you for you to pass next turn. Pass next turn. Not this turn. Yeah, use your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use the order. Yeah, you gotta use the order, don't you? Don't you answer is my dude, though. That, that, that would make me very sad, actually. Oh, he's gonna answer is my dude, isn't he? Anses? Please no? Please no Anses? I beg. I beg of you, Lord. Don't Anses me. No, I can deal with that. That I am fine with. Very much so. 
All right. Maybe we try weekly dual casting would fit the deck. Maybe there are more people who play fun decks instead of try hard meta decks. But it's not like, I don't know. It's just, it, it's not the same when you pull off something stupid against an unknown rando who's just trying to like climb the ladder, right? Who's like, yeah, this deck's gonna win me games. And then he faces this stupid pile. And he's like, what the hell just happened? Like he doesn't, he can't even explain what happened. It just happened. He had no, he had no, Consen he didn't consent to any of it. And therefore... <laughs> as fucked up as it is to say, therefore it makes it a lot more funny. Okay, maybe my phrasing was a bit bad there, but... <laughs> but you guys know what I mean. It's funnier if it's like an unsuspecting individual who's not prepared for the situation he's put in. Obviously, most of the individual... I mean, most of the decks that we play are complete ass piles which means the the individuals usually have ways to deal with ass piles like this guy for example okay like this guy for example knows now that he's not allowed to lose the game the the round basically Wait, how did it how did all my dryads die that was a bit annoying Come on. Do I even have enough points here? If only there was a card that said give vitality, man. That'd be a great card. I don't even know how many points this is, but it's it's a lot. <laughs> this smile is good though. I like the smile of this card next to this. It's very funny. <clears throat> also, there's a dryad, right? Okay, that's nice. His last card is the, the card he tutored, right? We could still win this, honestly, if he goes deeper. Like, what did we, we, what did we actually commit? Lol. Like, look at this, bro! Free value! Easy! Sure, I'll pass. Play all your cards, I don't care. Play all your high provision nonsense. Use your full leader ability. I don't care. I got this big chungus. I have big chungus. Big, big chungus. And see now... Uh, okay, maybe that's... Uh, eh, it's not bad. It's not bad. Let me tell you. Let me tell y'all. This ain't bad. You finna pass? ADC. Oh. Oh, I see. Get absolutely poisoned, son. <laughs> oh, you got another one? Please don't tell me you got another I mean, he probably has, right? Yeah, there you go. Okay, fair enough. Well, you still have to do it, right? All right, I think this is the play. Mm. Alright. 
Wait, are we actually winning here? I mean, he has a... <laughs> he's got a lot of carryover, let me tell you that. Okay, uh, but he's used his last on arrow. He's down to 10 cards. We have a Simlas in hand. And a Renew, that's very nice. Okay, don't want that. No, we don't want that. We don't want that either. And that works, I guess. I mean, he only has one necromancy, I would assume. Ah, uh, do we have enough spells here, actually? No we don't have enough spells, actually, I just realized. Need one of these. Mm. Looks like we are losing this one. Unless there is a way I can tutor out something that plays a spell, which I don't think there is. We definitely needed one of these cards instead of this. Wait, did we have one? Of no, we had we had this. We had, we mulliganed. Uh, what the hell? Hey, that's rude, fam. Oh my god, did we actually lose here? God damn it. Oh, we won! We actually won! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious.